Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So where are we headed to on this one, Becky? We are headed to the Lynx in Stansbury Park. So take a look at this flying right over Stansbury Park and the golf course. Talk about it all coming together. It comes together right there in Stansbury Park. Oh yeah, that golf course is would be your morning view. There are two double doors that go out onto that covered patio every morning. It's in a gated community. There are only 20 units. Um, the HOA is very well managed. The fee is only $100 a month. That's great. Yes. Especially to be on a golf course. Yeah, on a golf course, they're steps away from the Stansbury Clubhouse, meaning the Stansbury Golf Clubhouse, but also Stansbury Community itself has a clubhouse with a community pool that's also right by the lake. You can rent paddle boards, canoes, boats, kayaks. There's great bass fishing in that lake. It's such an awesome community. And take a look inside, this thing is beautiful. It is so meticulously maintained. It's got vaulted ceilings. The kitchen is gorgeous, super, you know, loaded with upgrades. All, you know, the cabinets have the nice pullouts. Um, they're using this as a sitting area, but it could easily be a dining area that fits, you know, another 12 people in there. And the island is just huge. Yeah, such a nice uh, flexible space, which is so nice. And I noticed the bed bedrooms are on the main floor too. The bedrooms and the laundry are on the main floor. So this is not a retirement community. It is a golf community, um, but it's so nice to have that single level living. And then, like I said before, this one, is one of the 20 that has a finished basement. So you've got the two bedrooms upstairs. There's an unfinished bedroom in the basement that could be used for storage or for guests, obviously, if it needed to be finished off. But you have tons of room for entertaining in this house too, so. Yeah, big open spaces. Best of both worlds, yeah. yes. Yes, entertain all you want and <laughs> live there peacefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. obviously you've gotta be a golf fan to live here. Yeah. You don't I mean, have to be. But I mean, you just need to look out and enjoy that beautiful, peaceful view out the back, all those big trees and all the birds and everything that go along with that. So it's, it's, it's just so nice. Yeah, there's a, an observatory nearby, so you can actually see the stars from the back patio here. And the house is just, again, loaded with upgrades. There are skylights, um, water heater is brand new, full house humidifier, water softener, it's wired for surround sound. It's just a, it's a beautiful, beautiful home. Nice big wide stairways, a gas range. It's, I, I, it's rare to see something like this that is so meticulously maintained. Yeah, and there's that view out the back, mm -hmm. place where you can just sit out there and just watch the, everything go by. And look at all Isn't the Isn't that beautiful the with the water fountain? This, yeah, I wish we had 10 of these <laughs> because we would sell all of them, that's for sure. Yeah, beautiful property, great location. Stansbury Park continues to be a standout with all the uh, nice amenities they have that out there with all the, the places where you can go paddle boarding and fishing and golfing. And, and you're 25 minutes away from the airport. Yeah. I mean, it's a great spot to be. Beautiful property. Where are we headed to for this one? My very favorite neighborhood, because it's my own. We are headed to the Pastures and Saddleback in Lake Point, Utah. As we head past the Great Salt Lake, before we hit Tooele City, you're going to come into Lake Point, and Lake Point really is a hidden treasure. Oh, it's such an awesome community, and I can confidently say that because it's where I live. But um, we kind of joke that it's the best small town ever in existence, but because you really do have this great small town feel, but you're only 25 minutes away from downtown Salt Lake. It's easy, super easy freeway access to the airport, 20 minutes to the airport. Um, you're close to Stansbury Park and all of the amenities there, but this particular community is just fantastic. Yeah, the home, it's so well put together. It's got that open floor plan and it's so clean and you have so much storage. It's the house I can't 
say enough good things about this house either. Like it's just on a wonderful street. So the backs of the home faces the lake. So you've got these great views that, you know, you can see the Great Salt Lake all day long. And then out the front, you've got the mountain views. Um, you've got this really awesome flex space in the front of the house where you could use it for a formal living room or a stay at home office. Um, three bedrooms upstairs, two and a half baths. It's just an awesome space to live in. And as we've spent a lot more time at home over the last year, some of us now working from home, having that flex space for the kids to go and have a toy room or for you to have an office just really makes it a lot nicer. Right, and this house is such a perk because there is a loft upstairs, but you can also use, you could use that formal space as an office or as a formal living room or dining room, really. You've got the primary bedroom. I mean, look at this house. It's just, it's just really well put together. This is one of my very favorite floor plans. And that primary bedroom, it's really large and you also have a huge walk-in closet in there. Yeah. Yep, and then you've got another full bedroom, or excuse me, full bathroom and two bedrooms with the flex space. And you still have room to grow because there is this extra space in the basement, um, which is fully unfinished. It's about 1,100 square feet in the basement and it's total walkout. So you could turn that into an apartment really easily. And you have a three car garage, but it's really spacious. You have a lot of room for storage in there as well. Yes, big, very well taken care of garage and also an RV space. So gate right there, now there's the shed. It can be easily moved and that could be turned into a full RV space. It's a little over a third of an acre as well. And again, you've just got these great views. I love how you have the area for the adults to go and hang out and enjoy the evening and then the kids still have a huge grassy area to play in. It's a beautiful home. It is and there are actually a lot of empty nesters in the neighborhood too. There's a good mix of people. Great place to live. Our market is shifting very quickly. Are you curious about the value of your home? Reach out to one of the professionals at Real Estate Essentials and we can do a full market analysis for you and find out the value of your home in this current market. Reach out to one of us and we can help you. So Nicole, what got you involved in real estate? Um, I actually have a background in compliance and property management. I've done that for about seven years and I am very passionate about real estate and I just wanted to move into that side because I love working with people and I want to work more with um, buyers and sellers and helping them with their real estate needs. Yeah, and you're so tremendous at this, which is great. So is there an area of the valley that you like to work in? Um, I love working in Salt Lake County primarily. I grew up in Taylorsville and I currently live in Draper, but I also work in Summit, Utah and Davis counties, but I also spend a lot of time in Southern Utah. So I'm very familiar with Garfield and Paiute counties yeah, very, very unique. Well, we really appreciate you having it. You're doing a wonderful job. Thanks. So, Elisa, tell me where we're headed. We're going to the beautiful city of West Jordan. I'm so excited. This is an absolutely fantastic location. Look at the landscaping on this house. Yeah, I love this area. They're surrounded by this beautiful new home, so it's just the perfect location. I love the hardy board and the stone. It's just really a classic house, right? It's super transitional, not too traditional. I mean, this would be a great fit for anyone. Right, and it's right in the corner lot, so it's perfect as what, you know, people like. I love the outside, the colors. It's just very, very neutral, but, you know, we all love that. Yeah, but it's, it's got a little bit of personality too. Correct. A little bit of, little bit of spunk there. And, we, you know, it has the RV parking, which is, one of the things that you know clients our clients really like and are looking for so it's great it's no kidding that rv parking is hard to come by in some of the newer homes that some of the homes that are being built right now just don't have the space for them so that's fantastic look at this the floors are so nice and neutral and it's totally open is that a two-story ceiling it is it is so you you'll have that five uh, 20 feet uh, high ceiling which is great it gives tons of light and look at that kitchen. Oh my gosh, this is a dream 
kitchen. Check out the island, it's huge. It is, it's quartz countertops and it, there's so much space for, you know, cause sometimes some kitchens don't have enough uh, space, you know, for, you know, all the things, so it's great. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. There's a ton of cabinet space and counter space, so you could make some awesome pies for Thanksgiving in this house, right? <laughs> yeah, so this bedroom has, uh, sorry, this house has five bedrooms, 3.5 baths. Very nice. So we're seeing the master bedroom right now, which is huge. I love it. When I walked nope. in, I was like, oh, it's so dreamy. That is. Check that. And the natural light in this house looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You still have that high ceiling, and of course, you have the bath and shower, the tub and shower. Yeah, separate tub and shower and nice cabinetry. Gosh, that natural light in there, I just can't get over how like bright and airy this house feels. Yeah, 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 and it has a walk-in um, closet, which is great, it's so much space. And what I love about this home is, you know, the bedrooms are, are, are huge, yeah. which you don't get to see that sometimes in the new homes. No, so there, it looks like there's three bedrooms on that upper level. Correct, yes. Very nice, and check out this backyard. This is so private and just, cozy it feels great yeah I, you can do a ton like it has so much potential to you have your barbecues there during the summer you don't have to you know deal with oh and this is my favorite part yeah. I'm a gardener myself so that <laughs> looks fun I, I would love a little raised garden like that really yeah that veggie garden is lovely and holy cow a full apartment in the basement yes yes separate entrance which is great because you know and, you know they do their own thing <laughs> so. so live with family don't live with family don't have to see the family that's fantastic right and we have granite countertops in that kitchen it's full kitchen so it's great because it has two laundry rooms and two kitchens this house this is a great spot I love it it's wonderful so yeah they can give us a call if they're interested to see it right yes I have a feeling you'll get those calls <laughs> thank you Wow, so this is a great big rambler and we're right on the golf course, aren't we? We are, yeah. Location is key on this one. It is a, it's a beautiful home in Syracuse and it's coming in right at about 5,600 square feet. So you have plenty of room. Yeah, and every space in here I feel like is wide open. I mean, look at this great room. Yeah, you can tell a lot of personal touches were made on this custom home to the timber work. You'll see it everywhere throughout the home. It's really beautiful. It is, and I love the size of that island. I mean, you can have uh, uh, you know a whole party just around the island there. It looks like a piece of furniture. I love how they designed it. Um, again, with all of the woodwork in the kitchen, it just it really gives that custom custom look to it. You'll also see tons of natural light just coming through and then right out is the golf course. Yeah, I love that because you're so close to that golf course. You have the stream in the backyard and you have that huge side, side yards that people will see. Yeah, this house has a, a half acre lot, which is very large for this area. And going into the uh, master bedroom, I love the setup. I love how it has tons of extra space and a big jetted tub. Yeah, look at the depth of that tub is huge. We uh, you know, like to have our time and be able to relax in that master suite. So that is a key feature. Absolutely. And themed throughout the entire house is just this timeless styling of that natural wood. I love it. So it also has a vacuum system, which is built in, which is nice for you know the convenience of home living. Absolutely. And one thing I love about this house is the home theater. You have a full second kitchen right there with your theater and there's a full size fridge in there. There is, yeah. The speaker system is amazing on that theater system too. So uh, the family nights will be great down there. Yeah, I love it when you can have a speaker system where you feel what you're watching, right? Right, yeah. So this home has five bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and like we said, those two kitchens. And the nice part about a house of this size is all those extra bedrooms can be used for lots of different uses. Absolutely. One of the things I really, really loved about this house is the garage space. It's huge. It has um, five areas for, for cars and it's also heated. 
Um, it has a front access, and then also in the backyard, it has a rear access to that huge garage. Yeah, that is uh, really cool. And again, I just love to highlight how your backyard is right on the golf course, but you have a huge side yard where you can entertain, you can uh, you know, have the kids over there, whatever it is. Yeah, and that stream, I mean, that is just beautiful. And it's a great privacy barrier as well. Absolutely. Tons of storage too, yeah. This is an absolute beautiful home and I think it's gonna go quickly. So you're buying a new home, what if something breaks in the first year? Be sure to put an Elevate Home Warranty on your home. It covers furnaces, ACs, water heaters, plumbing, electrical, all the parts and components inside your home. We also do a yearly tune-up for your furnaces and ACs. We are one of the only companies out there that has no limits on our ACs and furnaces. Next time you buy a home, be sure to get an Elevate Home Warranty. Martha, I'm so excited that you're here today. You've got this awesome foundation. Tell us about it. Well, it is called Passionate Wings. I started it in my garage in 2018. Now we actually have a building downtown. That's so cool. So what does Passionate Wings do? Who do you serve? Passionate Wings is we encourage women that are fleeing domestic violence. We help them get back on their feet and we help everybody that needs help. When they contact us, that's what we're doing. That's so cool because a lot of times if people are leaving domestic violence situations, mm -hmm. then they're literally leaving with the clothes on their back. And yes. so you provide this safe place mm -hmm. for them to come and really get whatever they need. Yes, that's absolutely true. That's so cool. And I know that there's a room at the building downtown that is very special to you. Can you tell me about it? Yes, it is called the Memorial. It's a very pretty room that has the angels and the flowers. Ladies that have lost their lives to domestic violence, their family members have hung up pictures of them in that room. So we just want to be able to help keep these ladies alive. So that room is very dear to my heart. That's awesome. So why did you start Passionate Wings? What, what prompted you to do that? Well, my whole life I've always helped women. I, I just helped the moms and stuff, but I actually started this one because of my own mother. She was a survivor, the rape survivor, and that. So this was very important to me to start and help women like my mom. That's so cool. So you are giving back and I think as realtors and as moms mm -hmm. and it's such a neat thing and we love that you're able to do that. We love that you're an agent at Top Equity and can share that with everybody and I'm super excited to be able to share it with you today too. Tell me, um, you know, if somebody's fleeing a domestic violence situation, they can contact mm -hmm. you. How do they? Normally they go to the website or it's just a word of mouth. Everybody knows my phone number. They know how to get a hold of me. So as soon as someone gets a hold of me, we just go down to Passionate Wings and we let those ladies pick whatever they want. And you're able to really give back mm -hmm. and help them get back on their feet. This is such a cool organization. We're so happy to hear more about it. Thank oh, well, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Okay, Sean, so where are we headed to on this one? We are heading up to Harriman. Take a look at this, flying into that upper area there and uh, in Harriman, look at that massive lot. Yep, so Jay, the sellers bought two lots to build this big house, just shy of 10,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, five full and two half baths in this home. And they're perfect, like kind of up on the bluff that overlooks the whole valley. Yep, so they are up on a mountain that spent over $200,000 on a retaining wall to flatten out the backyard. Really, and so they have the best of both worlds. So they've got the views and they've got the flat land. Views, the whole back of the house are all windows so you can enjoy that view. Yeah, and look at on the inside. Yep. They put a lot into this house. Yep. So concrete fireplace here, there's two of them in the house. This is the big one right in the entrance of the home. And there's a smaller one to the back of the home, but they, they are identical custom fireplaces. Yeah, very tasteful work. As you can tell, they put this thing together. Yep. A lot of class and style in here. Yeah, no expense Yeah, no expense was spared on this one. Custom cabinetry throughout the home. This is the office right in the entrance of the home. And yeah. we come into the kitchen dining room here. A really nice kitchen with a uh, butler pantry that's hidden behind some cabinets, the hideaway cabinets. 
Yep. So right there on the left of the fridge, you push that open into the butler pantry. Oh, really? So kind of hidden. Yep. Yeah, yep. That's, that's so popular right now. You see a lot of builders doing that, and that's just kind of the thing, yeah. which is great. And look at the level of the granite. It is beautiful. Yeah. Laundry rooms. These are set up for electric and gas. There's you know two washers, two dryers here, and then you have some in the basement as well. And here's that smaller fireplace I was telling you about. Again, these windows um, are all in the back of the house. Um, the, the control four system controls all the shades. So they open up certain time of the day, close certain time of the day. You run all your lights, your your TVs, everything off that control four system. This is the master bedroom. That double door right there takes you out to the deck. Coffered ceiling again has lights in it. Yeah, really massive nice. room, massive space. Yeah, and this is the master bathroom here. Um, you can see how big it is. Yeah, everything. I mean, it is definitely oversized, everything they put into this at uh, Marvel. So let's talk a little bit about that control four system. Yeah. Because that is a really, that is a state of the art when it comes to putting a house together, all the technology and wrapping it all in. You can control it from your phone and it controls your, your heating, your air conditioning, and it just, and everything in the house, which is so nice. Everything, everything. Like it makes your house a smart home, basically. It does. It does. And then in this bedroom, this is a guest bedroom here. A lot of people think that that's wallpaper on the wall, but that's actually custom paint. Wow. So again, really nice work. Yep. And then this just takes you up to a little bonus room. Um, so you have the bonus room up here, which is nice because you overlook that big fireplace on the entry of the home. Yeah. A nice use of that space. It really is. And this home does have five furnaces. There's one in the garage, four in the houses. And the, yeah, they control just different sections of the house. So that control four super nice. So you can control them all just off your phone. Which is really nice because you can really, if one room's getting hot or another, you can control them individually. And boy, they said, oh, so going down to the lower level, looks like they've yeah. got a second kitchen here. Yep, second kitchen here. Again, this is a uh, gas range, or it's, excuse me, this is electric range, but it is set up for gas as well. Um, and it's hard to tell when you're in the home that this is a basement, but it is a full walkout. Um, yeah, the second kitchen here is super nice. Yeah, and look at this. And we're, it looks like we're gonna be heading into the home theater. It's yeah. Very, very nice. So a little nice. kitchenette off the home theater with a half bath right there, but then the theater, again, is all controlled by that Control 4 or the remotes. So it's it's fun to go into something like this. Yeah. Control those curtains with the Control 4. And then this is one of the bathrooms downstairs. Yeah, again, really good use about that granite, beautiful. And more bedrooms, right? More bedrooms, yep. So down in the basement, there's four bedrooms. Hmm. Very, very nice. Master was right on the main floor, which I know is, which is, yep. is just, just the way you want to have it on a big house like this, a master on the main floor. And look at this, very stylish. Yeah, so they had this set up for a barber chair, but it is it does have a closet, so you could technically use it as a bedroom. Yeah, a bit of a flex space. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And then another guest bedroom downstairs, and again, that door walks you out to the covered deck, or under the covered deck, so you're you're out on the, on the ground level out there. Yeah, and uh, boy, Harriman has really grown so much and there's these just these beautiful houses in the area where this is located. There are just some premium homes and you can tell they've really put a lot into this one. And so Jay, you got to check out this garage. This does have three double car garage doors, but you could probably fit in 10 vehicles in there. Oh my goodness. Heated, epoxy floor, custom cabinets. You've got hanging shelves, but no expense was spared on this one. Yeah, you can see all the AC units and all yeah. the, the different venting off the back. This was a this was a marvel as they built this. The builder must have yeah. really been into this. Well, and he is a builder, so they built it themselves for what they wanted. And again, nothing, no expense was spared on it. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Chad. Hi, Randy. Here we are. Oh. All right, let's head on down to Park City and see what Mike is up to. Hi, Brandy. Here we are. We are at the base of Park City Mountain Resort. You can see the amazing views right there. And this location is 50 Shadow Ridge Road. So it's that building right there. So you can see you just walk uh, just a tiny bit and you are at the village of Park City Mountain Resort. So location doesn't get any better than this. That's beautiful. You're really just in the heart of all the action. And as you come into this kitchen, that backsplash is just so beautiful. And that wood brings in a lot of warmth to the whole kitchen. Yes, obviously they've done a phenomenal job on this remodel. Uh, they put a lot of love into this kitchen. It shows extremely well for a small unit, for only a two bedroom unit. And to have this kitchen is pretty amazing. So this unit is a two bedroom, two bath 
with just under 1200 square feet. And what makes this unit super unique is the fact that you have a lock off capability. So right now it's used as a primary residence. So you can see there's no doors between the bedrooms, but with this unit, there's literally three doors, three entrances from the hallway. And so what you could do is put a door on either one of those bedrooms or both and lock them off. What that means is you could be staying in one side and then renting the other side out while you're enjoying your vacation. And that's always so unique. They've laid this out just perfectly. So you have a whole lot of space and you do have that opportunity to come in and enjoy it yourself, but also keep that income flowing in as well. Absolutely, and as, as we walk through the unit, you can see all the upgrades they've done. They've redone the bathrooms. They've redone the flooring. Um, they've put uh, a lot of love into this unit. In this unit, you also have laundry as well. So you don't have to go outside the unit to do your laundry. And so when we talk about this location, it's amazing being right there at the resort, but also you have all these great amenities right here as well. So we have a pool and fitness center uh, at this location as well. That's fantastic. So you can just vacation the entire time that you enjoy your stay there. And as we come out, you do see that amazing view. We're looking over on that pool. And if somebody wants to get more information about the property, Mike, how could they reach out to you? Absolutely, they can just give me a call on my cell phone. It's 435-640-6467. And this, it's going to go quickly. It's a beautiful property. It's a great location right in the heart of the village at Park City. And uh, it's just a phenomenal unit.